You know there's two types of banana pups that come off your banana tree? And yes, yeah, some people go, it's not a tree, it's grass, it's a berry. There's so much argument on it, and to be fair, I don't even know where I'm going to sit with that one. All of our wacky fruits in the food forest all sort of fall into different categories, but we still call them fruit trees. So now you're saying, what is the difference between your, your pups coming off your banana tree? Well, it's actually the leaf. And what is so special about the leaf? It's the fact that this pup here has really wide leaves. While you go down to this pup here, and it's got very skinny leaves. And that is called a sword sucker. And this is called a water sucker. You may be asking, what's the difference? Is there any difference? There actually is. Your sword suckers, the one with the more narrow leaf, actually is independent and has a better root system set up than a water sucker, which these water suckers still have a lot more roots connected to their mother plant. They're a lot more connected and they will grow a lot more slowly, especially if you're taking them out of the ground. Um, compared to the sword suckers, if you took these out, they'll grow extremely fast and they will still grow extremely fast in the ground here. Since you should only have three banana plants with a banana tree, so you've got the one that's going to fruit, aka grandma, then you've got the mother, and then you've got the daughter. Each one's going to be bearing fruit next. You keep that cycle there so it doesn't stress out the trees and they're all fighting for nutrients. Sort of, sort of like this bunch, we've cut some down. So when I'm looking at this, A, that's grandma back there who's going to fruit. This is mum, and then this is the daughter. Now I'm gonna take the sword sucker away and that one's going to be perfect to take away. I wouldn't wanna take this big one because it's still connected to mum. This one's going to grow really fast, um, being a sword sucker, because it's more independent. So I'll take that one away. Then these guys will have more pups. Keep that cycle going. I will do a video on how I repropagate bananas and how I take them away from the plant because people find it really difficult to separate banana trees. It's, it's, it's a process, but you get used to it. Well, I hope you learned something new and I'll catch you all later. Thank you for watching.